Mischief managed. Just kidding. Guys, this is our future home. Good morning. Good morning. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be the There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. Good morning, landing crew. Today is another beautiful day in Salem, Massachusetts. Today, first, we're gonna do some mundane, boring things. Kind of just see the everyday life here, and then we'll do some fun things. I was having a really rough day, so I don't know how today's gonna go. Hopefully, better than yesterday, or the same as yesterday, but not worse than yesterday. I'll show you when we get out. So Lonnie Jr. has really started like taking, I'll show you when we get out. So Lonnie Jr. has really started like taking photos. So he's gonna start using my Canon DSLR. As Floridians, we're a little cold today. It's, it's definitely a little windy and chilly. Hopefully it warms up a few degrees. Guys, I want to build this. This is what I want Santa to bring me this year. Buy it. You can. How? How do you even get this? Look, it's that much. Oh, you can get it as one of the gifts, right? Yeah. We've got plenty of time tonight. Oh, everything's gonna be, gonna be. So I dance through the long dark. You can go play, Lexi Poo. That was so much fun, guys. We were there for a total of five minutes. The tide is in or something and the rocks weren't there. So we are going to go to the hotel and go swimming. We're gonna try this again, guys. Maybe along the way, we'll find something interesting. I'll give Lonnie the wrong directions again. So we were back at the hotel. We decided we kind of need some time to settle down a little bit. This is a lot of going and going and going. So I think all of the kids are kind of just becoming a little bit out of it. Liam is, because every time he goes to see, we just wake him up for something else. Lex is just screaming all day, every day. Noah's having a rough time. So Lex. we're gonna settle down. Num -nums. But we're just gonna settle and eat some food and then we'll go down to the pool. But I think the rest of the night's gonna be just kind of relaxed and we'll just kind of play it by ear. I already gave you a cookie. No, I already gave you one. <laughs> no, no. Where are we going, Lex? Pool, I spoiled it. We are going to the pool. I saw Bobby running <laughs> to the exit. <laughs>
of mischief we can get ourselves into. Mischief managed. Just kidding. Sorry, it's a little shaky. It's a whole 56 degrees outside. To us from Florida, that's like 35. That's winter. It's winter here in May in Massachusetts. Okay, so from what I understand, this church was actually a dungeon for the alleged witches that were hung or whatever. So we're just gonna kind of see it and I don't know, see what it's about. We saw it last night, but it was already late and dark. I was just kidding where I took you guys had nothing to do with the witch trials, but what I'm about to show you is the only standing building in Salem still left about the witch trials, and it is the witch house. Just crazy. And I think our other corner is where the uh, graveyard's at. This was built in 1727. I would love to know what this looked like back then. Probably Without all the, the roads. Guys, this is our future home. Just kidding. But isn't it beautiful? I mean, even this, like the house over there I just showed you guys, like look at this yard. Like. It's so pretty. I know. I don't even know what that is, but it's pretty big. People live in this home. Like what? Danielle and I were just talking about how it must be city officials that live there because all those houses were built like in the late 1700s, early 1800s for like historical figures. But we were talking about like how weird it must be for them to constantly have like people like walk by their house and like take pictures and video. I don't know, it would be weird to me. But if I was living in a house that was that awesome, I don't know that I would care too much. But yeah, these are really awesome, awesome houses. Like something out of a scary It's for sale, guys. Dude. Call that number right now. Did they just close it? Well, guys, we were gonna take the elevator in the mall, but it closed 12 minutes ago, so that sucks. But we had fun. We saw lots of historical things. Tomorrow in the morning, we gotta pack up the car and leave Salem. But it's okay, because tomorrow is supposed to be colder, and it's gonna be raining. We're kind of okay with it, because tomorrow we are going to drive through Boston again, and then we are going to go to Plymouth Rock. I don't think the kids will enjoy it as much as I do. But on the way, I'll give them a, another history lesson about it in case they've Dude, forgotten. I love it as much as you do. Oh, you, you think it's pretty cool? Yeah. Good. I okay. like the history behind everything. Yeah, it's really interesting. So, landing crew, there is one awesome thing about the cold, and that is there's still ice in my drink. All right, guys, well, it was fun day. Tomorrow will be a kind of fun day because we're heading home, so it's gonna be sad, but it's good to, you know, get back to where we have a house and we're not living out of a hotel room. But if you are new here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and we will see you guys tomorrow. Where you